Cassandra Ferdinand says, there's so much humor in your work. What usually comes first, the funny idea or hook for your books, or is it a theme that you want to discuss with children that you then infuse with the humor? It's never, it's never, when, I think we never start with theme. I don't, but for anything, for like no part of the story starts with a theme or an idea or something that we want to discuss for children. No theme. It's always, it's always <laughs> driven by uh, the characters uh, or, or, or a visual idea, a joke. Like, so Sam and Dave really before even character got layered into it was just a joke, right? Like it was just these kids in a hole next to a diamond. That was the first thing. And we were like, how can we expand that joke how can we push past the point, point where it's a joke? Like what's on the other side of that joke? Um, so the joke, the joke, even though it expands and expands, it then fades and we see, okay, what happens after there aren't any more diamonds? Now we start having an interesting story. We also layered character in on top of that. Sometimes it will start with character, but it, we never start with a theme or something that we're trying to impart. And, and for me, I, I never would. It's just not how I write and I, I, those books are fine. They're not to my taste as a reader, either. Um, well, they're not on this. They're not on separate teams all of a sudden either. No, that, like things that are funny. If you come up with a funny idea, that is normally if you dig down on that, which is the job of the next couple months after you sort of want to extrapolate that funny idea. It's usually because something sad is in there. Um, things are funny most of the time because they're sad. Sam and Dave, that joke of them missing the diamond every time, that just goes down to our deepest fears about like, what if I had just turned left? in my life over there? Did I miss a giant diamond? And like that, that's a universal idea and it's devastating. You can really lose sleep over something like that. But when you distill it down to just Sam and Dave missing a diamond, it's just a laugh. Um, but there's no reason not to think that your idea that you find funny isn't valid or doesn't unpack tons of stuff when you begin to sort of delve into that and just make it funnier. Just the act of trying to figure out what makes this thing funnier often produces the depth of the idea. And now, just, I want to say too, like, yeah. if you are not a funny person or you struggle with humor, mm. that doesn't mean that your book has to be funny. Saying like, okay, I'm going to start with humor. That can be just as forced as starting with a theme or an idea. You should be writing authentically, like your story, your point of view. Your job as a writer is to get your way of telling a story as authentically on the page as possible. So you don't need to start with a joke and you don't need to write funny books if you're not a funny person. And that's Fine. There are so many great books that aren't funny. I, Most of I'm, my favorite I, children's books weren't funny. When the ones I grew up loving, they did, they weren't explicitly hilarious or anything. They were usually really moody and atmospheric, and they just sort of did that instead. The only thing there that that I do like starting with a theme or an idea, it's much more exciting to have meaning created in in conversation between the book and the reader than it is to have meaning imparted by the book to the reader.